So I'm going to show how to make some cordage. Uh, just in case you ever find yourself in a survival situation and you need some uh, rope for your cat to play with, I'm going to show you how to make some rope. I made a video on this before, so I'm just going to do this real quick in case people missed it. But this is milkweed, common milkweed plant. Typically you want to do this after the monarchs are done with it. Make sure there aren't any monarch eggs or anything on it, anything like that. And then I always take the uh, the uh, seed pods and I throw those in a field. But you start off just cutting off all these leaves. And when you get to the top there, cut that off. Okay, next what you want to do is find a log or a rock or something. Uh, get another rock, hole in your hand, and you just take the uh, milkweed without any leaves on it and just tap it you don't have to put a lot of pressure in it you're just trying to crack it apart if you're smashing it to pieces then you're hitting too hard you just pick a rock up let it drop on now it's split you can rub your finger in there and split it down And then you take it and you just bend it. And the stuff that breaks on the inside, you can just pull out. Grab what's left, pull it down, and the rest of the stuff will stick up. Just grab it and spread it apart. Now you have all your strands. Depending on how thick you want your rope, you can either leave it thick or you can just pull these apart. Make sure you have all your insides out. When you get all your plants split and stripped apart, uh, you wanna leave this sit out for several hours or for a day or so uh, to dry out but for purposes of getting this video done I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this as it is now you want to find a, a nail or a stick or something to start wrapping it around and you take your strands and you get several of them I like to have small ropes so I'm pulling these apart. I've got at least three strands here. Put it around and make one end longer than the other. That'll help when you add more. And what you want to do is twist away from you and then put it over the other one and switch it. Twist away from you. Put it over the other one. Make sure you're holding it tight and keeping it together. You want to make sure you're turning it away and putting it over. Otherwise, it'll just unravel when you're done. Just keep twisting and over. So, show you how to add more. It's pretty simple. Grab another same amount that you're working with here. I had like three strands. So you wanna grab three more strands. Now you got the end of this one and the end of the one you're working on. And you just kinda hold them together and you roll that up, go over, keep going like you were. Make sure you hold on to it pretty good for a couple minutes until you get that new strand locked in. Then after you're done, you can go back through and cut off that excess. And the reason I left one side longer than the other is so that you only have to add on one side at a time. Makes it a lot easier. All right, so whenever you're finished, you can just simply tie it in a knot. Pull it off. This isn't going to be the prettiest because you need to let it dry and everything. But you can always make bracelets with it. And when you do it and it's all dried, this is what it looks like. This is what I did all last winter. Well, that's how you make cat toy in a survival situation. Unfortunately, somebody zonked. Look what I made you. <gasps>
My goodness. 